Hey there Scorpio, welcome to your reading for April 2017. Uh, this month definitely check out astrogar.com for more awesome readers and astrologers. I'm also doing something differently this month with the reading, so uh, let's get into it. But uh, I'm mostly going to focus on the bigger energies around you, but you start off with the Ace of Hearts. So coming in really strong this month, this, uh, this card is a card of personality and your personality and kind of like, you know, really putting it out there this month in a lot of ways. So I think that you're personality will come across very well this month also the card of uniqueness uh, i think one of, i think it was cancer that also had this card if i'm not mistaken um and i and uh so very water sign card this month so far and uh it is a card of being unique all aces to me represent uh, kind of innovation and starting new things and uniqueness being unique so a lot of you could be kind of uh doing things in a unique way in a different way and I think that could actually be very beneficial uh, for you. Uh, like I said to the other sign that got this, I don't remember. Again, I don't remember who it was. But um, it is a card of exploring yourself, learning more about yourself this month. You even have the six of hearts, you have the four of hearts. Definitely like this hearts type of energy of being focused on yourself and learning more about things uh, yourself. I also think, in, in uh, again, I'm pretty sure it was cancer that this came up for. Um, but there could be a real focus on, um, on kind of making sure that you get benefits from things as well this month as in you know water signs are givers right you know us water signs we just give and give and give and we uh, don't really sometimes we do it very selflessly we don't really look at you know kind of what we also get what we benefit from just giving of our time or giving of money or whatever we happen to be giving so a lot of you could be thinking about that like a lot of you could be giving things and be like hey wait a minute i need to get some sort of benefit for this you know from this for me as well i you know i need to get something out of this i need to get some sort of benefit and you could be asking those questions and thinking about those things as well also very good for thinking very good for the mind uh, this month as well uh, very good for communication ace of hearts has to do with the home and communicating with people in the home as well so uh, you could be uh, communicating with people from back home if you live away from home or dealing with people in your home as well it's a very supportive card great for those of you who have a family or who you know live with your family uh, great card for that it's, it's a very supportive card um, again makes you very driven as well like say aces are uh, great cards of success in general just being successful i think it is because it, they, they make us like very driven and wanting to get things done again there, there definitely seems to be a general energy around all signs this month of uh being very driven and really trying to reach certain goals and, and reach new levels of uh, you know greatness in our own lives really it's also a card of um you know learning um gratitude and being grateful for the things that we have so i think a lot of you I mean, it, it says that you have learned that it says that you are being very grateful for the things that you have been given at this time uh, which can be a good thing again that's just, it's just another way to look at it saying that this is another card of success because you're grateful because you're getting things that you want so um, just another kind of clue. Uh, there are certain cards that I look at as clue cards that just give me like clues as to what could be going on. So uh, that could definitely be something. Next, you have the Jack of Diamonds, uh, d um, a card of needing to play at work, needing to have more fun while working and things along those lines. It could also just say you need a break. Like you need a break from work. You've been working too hard. You need to take some time for yourself. An amazing card for selling, selling anything, really goods, services, uh, getting new clients, signing new contracts, uh, you know, good for all those types of things. And it's a great card for uh, making connections with people as well, uh, you know, connecting like two people together for something. So, you know, as a, you've probably heard me say a million times in 2017, 2017, amazing year for networking. And this could be another great card for you this year for networking, for putting people together, you know, networking and then meeting people and then being the person that kind of facilitates some sort of relationship between two other people. You could see a lot of benefits from doing that, especially if you're in business, but also, I mean, if you're in work, you know, whatever. Uh, I think it could be beneficial for all of you. Um, also a card, like, like I said, uh, you know, I want to focus on having more fun at work as well. Like I said, this is like the business and pleasure card. That's what I always think of it. Um, so it could say that you're being too serious at work. You need to take a break or you just need to kind of have more pleasure uh, at work as well. You're Again, you're being too, you might be being too serious and you might need to lighten up a little bit as well. It's kind of like a card of needing to learn to go with the flow a little bit more when it comes to work and, uh, and, and just, you know, not be so serious, I guess you could say. Uh, definitely a great card of needing to trust yourself. Look, he's blind on this card here as well. 
Um, and it's a card of needing to trust yourself on a very deep level. Uh, trust your instincts, really, this month. And be, you, I will say, you know, the one thing I always say about Jax is that you should be careful of, uh, you, you know, what people say to you at this time. Be careful of advice because it might be bad advice. Really, um, if something doesn't feel right, trust yourself and, and kind of go with your gut this month. Um, especially because you have the six of hearts. Again, the card of, definitely a card that represents, I shouldn't say the card of, but a card that represents going with your gut, trusting your intuition on an extremely deep level and, and really only trusting your intuition at this time. So your intuition could be very important this month. As I always say, uh, on a more mundane level, this card represents a turnaround, turnaround type energy coming in for you. You could be seeing things like, I think I think you guys get this card a lot. I think Scorpio is like the only sign that gets this card constantly. I mean, cancer, maybe, but, um, you know, you get this card a lot. And it represents a time where maybe in the past you've tried to put energy into something that you wanted to get to work out and it hasn't worked out. But uh, this card says, hey, now is your time to take another shot at something that you wanted to work out in the past that hasn't. Could be a relationship, could be a business, could be, you know, one of a million other things. So uh, if you have those thoughts at this time, again, we have these retrogrades, you know, going on this month. Uh, so it could be a good time to revisit old things and try to get things to work out differently uh, at this time. Uh, also, the card of responsibility, being very responsible. I, I, I think it just means that you will be very responsible this month. You will be doing responsible things. And you will be kind of looking for new responsibilities as well. You could be um, looking for ways to become more uh, responsible uh, in your life. You could also be looking at balance in relationships. You know, this is a, this is the card of negotiations, but in relationships, you could be looking at your relationships, and again, with the Ace of Hearts and this card, you could be looking at, like, fairness and being like, you know, I'm in this relationship with this person. I've been living with them for two years, but it's really one-sided, my side, and that's it. There is, you know, you know, they, they don't really, or, or, you know, their side, basically. They're being too selfish. You could be making those, coming to those conclusions. Uh, same thing with friends. You could be coming to a lot of confu you know, conclusions where you're like, you know, I have this one friend, but you know, they really don't, um, you know, they they really don't help out there. They, you know, I always go out with them, but I always end up picking up the bill, and I always end up having to do these things. So, you know, I'm always driving or whatever. And you could see how it's very one-sided, and they never really help you. So you could be looking to change those things as well. Uh, but again, like I said, great card for contracts as well because it is a great card for negotiating and negotiating things. I know it's a Mercury retrograde, but sometimes we just have to sign things and you know all this other stuff um, to get things going uh, finally you have the four of hearts card of commitments making new commitments of things so a lot of you could be making new commitments in love and it could also just be new commitments in business as well uh, also a great card for traveling moving and even moving for work so if any of you are doing that this card is very um, supportive for those types of activities uh, it is the card of uh, um, Charisma being very charismatic. Uh, Jack of Diamonds a very charismatic card as well And it's a card of like kind of using all your people skills this month to kind of get what you want Needing to build relationships could be very important for you at this time And again, you could find yourself like really having people becoming very loyal to you again It is a card of commitment, but those commitments could be coming from other people as well So again, you could find other people becoming very kind of, uh, you know, followers of yours at this time, especially if you're involved in, like, social media or something along those lines, uh, you could be finding your, car your you know, your charisma, your charm, your natural charm, allowing you to build a deeper following or, you know, whatever, more people uh, in a lot of ways. Uh, it is a card, again, of needing to find balance. You do have a couple cards that say, hey, like, slow down this month. You could find yourself actually rushing forward too much this month. You know, Jack of Diamonds, Four of Hearts. And, you know, because this is a card that says, you need to find balance between, you know, what you're doing, your work, and everything else in your life. And make sure to create that balance. Make sure to not lose track of, like, who you are and, and the things that you're doing at this time. Also, again, a kind of, like, loosely a card of needing to look at your health and needing to make sure, again, that you're taking care of your, your health and you're not losing track of that with other things. But uh, all in all, looks like a very positive month for you. So thank you for watching and enjoy your April.